Uh, so Rod, um, so like in this video, I'm uh, going to describe my second lab that's uh, to simulate a three number lottery game. So like this is my fourth video today. Like I'm doing this fourth time, and I couldn't do it in less than five minutes. I'm trying to do as fast as I can. So. Uh, Hopefully it'll be good. So uh, the first thing that uh, it will print is it will say this thing. This program simulates a three-number lottery game, and this is all the scanner thing over here. Uh, this will make sure that till here, okay, till here. It will make sure that upper bound and lower bound are positive. Otherwise, it will just automatically terminate the program. From here, yeah, uh, it will ask ask the user to enter the lower bound for the lottery game and it will make sure that the lower bound is negative uh, sorry positive and if it's not then it will automatically it will, it will give this this message and automatically terminate the program and if this this loop works if and only if lower bound is less than one otherwise it will move on to next one so uh, this is the same thing for upper bound this loop do while loop will work if and only if this lower bound is less than one otherwise it will move on to the next one and if temp up uh, you're just declaring uh, de uh, putting the value of lower bound into temp upper mm, just to and like and same same here too. This do while loop works if and only if upper bound is less than lower bound. You're just, we're like I'm just swiping or switching the value of upper bound and lower bound if and only if this upper bound is less than lower bound. So it's if somehow user did the mistake. That's and this other one like uh, moving on. Mm. And this 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 loop is for. Uh, this loop works if and only if upper bound uh, is less than lower bound plus two. If so, like this is a three number lottery game where the three numbers that the user pick is shouldn't like is not allowed to be the same. So like uh, it's not like practical or like it's not it doesn't make sense for a user to pick two numbers uh, like two two upper bound and lower bound like two and five where there are only three and four that's two number between those two numbers so like if that happens it will automatically add two in the upper bound and moves on with the program so from here to here it it, it is just like creating or well, like uh, generating three different numbers three different three numbers three different numbers for the lottery game. So this is just a uh, like simple, simple, simple algorithm. And uh, mm, let's move on, move forward here. Uh, this is making sure that the this part is making sure that there is no duplicate, uh, like no same number twice. And there, it's ma it's also making sure that it's it's inside the range. Mm, and it will uh, like it. It's a. Uh, it will print a message saying print a number, print uh print a number between lower bound and upper bound for lottery pegs, and uh, if, if 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 it is error, it will show this to misses. If it is um outside of range, it will show this. If it is, if the user input to same number or to same number, then it will print this one. Repeated numbers. So this will work even only if these two conditions are true. So moving on, this is now showing the results. Range of your lottery from it will show the range, and uh, next it will show the lottery number that the computer generated, and the third one it will show is the number that the user picked, and it will show if like it will show how many were correct. If three of them were correct, you win ten thousand dollars, and. Uh, this another one is if one of them is correct or two of them is correct or three of them is correct it will just yeah I declared this no matches as zero zero mm, let's see something weird happen here okay 
the snow matches at zero so like if this is true it will add one here and if this is true it will add again and one here if not true it will just move on to the next one and whatever is the last number it will put this this will like if it is two they win two thousand if it is one they win one thousand if it is three they win three thousand so and if it is none then no matches anywhere you win you win nothing so into and the last thing it will say is enter one to continue or any other numbers to quit. So that's the last message that we get. Let's run this program and see if it works. It should. Mm, this is the error message that I always get. That's nothing. So it's saying this program simulates a three number lottery game. Please enter a positive. Okay, so two. Mm, eight, let's see. Uh, three, five, seven. Oh, yay, I won $1,000, so I won. Uh, let's try using something else. So, eight as my lower bound, and two as my upper bound. So, it automatically switched. So, five. Six, seven. Hmm. This works. So this is head from here, uh, from my side. So I thank you very much, and I am really enjoying this class, to be honest.